I'll handle supporting it. And um, I had some questions in regards to finding out what their actual contract was for the property. So um, I asked if you could table this item also keep it on the agenda to review for their information because I always be aware of what project plans that comes up. Yes, um, this Saturday, they're having a meeting at Eastside Cafe. I'm not sure. carefully, especially on the Caltrans properties issues, because there's a lot of tangibles that come into play, especially with the tenants involved in that situation. Um, it's a very, one of those little, it's one of those issues that is very prone to being, that needs to be dealt with in a deliberative thorough process and make sure that um, if you decide to move forward with it, make sure that there's adequate time, get all the pertinent parties involved. Uh, on the 710 tunnel issue, um, last I saw, Gloria Molina was for it, and she put it in writing in the, in the local paper, but getting back to the property issue, that issue there is a, has a lot of, it's a very sensitive issue to people, and I, am, I would strongly, strongly recommend this community, and if you're going to bring up that, that issue, especially on the Caltrans properties, and the ramifications of the Roberti bill that they're looking for, those people that you set this up in a thorough, thoughtful manner and make sure all the parties have a lot of time and thought of thought of advanced time to come and discuss this. Thank you very much. Any other comments? Uh, yeah, um, I, I agree with Mr. Uh, Johnson. Um, be, be careful with this. It's been an you know, ongoing discussion for a long time, for a really long time. But, um, you know, I would like to see the Spanish community. Um, Maybe have a couple of town hall meetings, you know, to um, get input because we used to have them before, but um, town kind of terms doing their own meetings and um, you know, trying to have what's going on between the last board and this other board, it just fell apart. So um, I'd like to see you guys pick it up because um, it's going to be an issue and it's going to be a big issue. Thank you very much. Any other
they have, well, I'll send that information. They, they have no new inspiration or nothing. It's, it's just being done because uh, they're able to put it in without any kind of oversight. Well, oh, is it under CD14? Yeah, yes, it's under our, our jurisdiction. So it's not CD14. Not CD14. So we'll do a little bit more research and the center of the so we'll put it on the agenda. So if you get any information you can provide us, can I give you a lead on the site? Um, sure. I would strongly recommend that the, the land use chair get an update on the academia from the middle to the situation. The previous incarnation of this committee um, and the board, previous board passed a um, resolution asking for an investigation of possible zoning violations. And um, I would think that this committee needs to be, especially since there's one holdover from that previous incarnation of this board, would, would ask at least the council office to provide an update on that. I think this committee should recognize that it, it should be a priority that zoning safety is a paramount concern of zoning. And if you have an entity who is supposedly an upstanding member of this community that violated a zoning issue, then it should be followed up on an ASAP and this committee should not let go of it. So so we put this under one of your updates so yeah. that we get some closure from CD14? They're going to have it already to see what the CD14 has done or not done. Thank you. Yes. Uh, yeah, um, you know, uh, before uh, Big Saber got knocked down, they came to our neighborhood council letting us know that they were going to expand the uh, During the conversations, there were conversations with the owner that since they were going to expand it, they were going to try to create community jobs. Um, I would like to see if maybe you can ask the owner to maybe come to one of the next meetings and, and see if that's still uh, what they're offering. Because I know that there was a lot of discussion with a lot of community members that, hey, you know, if you're going to make it bigger, why can't you get some jobs for the community? He said, of course. Of course I will. So I just want to see if we can get an update from the owner if that's still uh, possible to get and how many? How many jobs that are going to be for the community? Are you just going to ship people from another store over here? How many? And maybe 
can get a count on how many community jobs I can create there. You know, actually, just bring that up. Um, I also want to turn that out about my attention with uh, this expansion. They bought some homes on Oakland. And people were concerned with the traffic on Oakland, then street. So they're concerned about uh, what traffic when going to Oakland from from this, from this area food once they expand. So they got two properties that are going to be a buddy onto Oakland. I'm not sure if they're going to be building there or whatever. Maybe get the plans from them from this area food to see what it is exactly they're going to be. Uh, the layout for the new store, that'd be good. That would get some people that live in Oakland so I'm uh, heads up on that. So let's put this then on the new item and get an update from Big Saver and present it to him. And of course, also the jobs. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. 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 Any other items that you just feel that we should put on the agenda because we're going to get lost yet? <laughs> it's not it's up for the agenda, Angela, but. Um, uh, the Sinos group will be meeting with uh, Trust for Public Land at the Holy Grounds on the 25th, and uh, I'm sure there will be some updates and some more information in regards to S Curve East by the playground, as well as uh, I'm going to follow up on the cleanup that was on the anniversary date over there. Normally at Holy Ground, so I'm going to assume that's going to be the same location. I'll send you something. Maybe one of your committee members can attend the meeting. Thank you. Any other items that we should be putting on the agenda? Yeah, I didn't want to give you guys such an extended uh, agenda for the next upcoming meeting, but there's one land use issue that has been brought to this committee before and to the board, and I understand that there's new uh, proposals for it, and that would be the the project at uh, Eastern and Lombardi. So I don't know if you would, you would approach the, the owner now and, and see what his new proposal is because he doesn't want to put a charter school there any longer. And he might consider something like the gentleman presented today. Hopefully they are uh, homes where, where people could come in and purchase that home ownership. But I think uh, just bringing it as part of the discussion uh, allows for that property owner to bring themselves to the open. You guys can hear the issue. You can talk to the neighbors, say please come and find out what's going on. And just part of being a uh, I don't know, like a good neighbor or, or reaching out to those in that area. And uh, I want to commend you guys on this evening's meeting. You guys did an A. You guys did really, really good. It showed your experience being on the board uh, on how to take care of this really easy and no, no problem. Thank you. Uh, just one more. I'm not too sure if this is <coughs> regarding this. Uh, maybe you can elaborate on this. But I'm, I was told that uh, when I see these flyers, a new school opening up at the Constituent Center. And I was kind of curious of why they never went to the education committee and and, and told the, the LA or the following old, former board that hey this school is gonna be opening up. We have no clue what kind of schools I know it's gonna be the charter school but with the issue with the other schools that the other constituents were discussing regarding um, academic um, we really need to see if we can get these people down here and let them explain to us how this school is going to benefit this community. Because my understanding is going to be a something like, like the skill center. Where, right, that's yeah. something like the skill center. Now, if you ever been to the skill center, it's, I'm not saying it's a bad school, <coughs> but what I'm saying is that if you ever go down to Placer, like that, where the entrance is at, um, they're like kids that can't make it in high school or older gentlemen that go to high school. Well, the reason why I brought it because it's a land, land use issue is on the constituent uh, property. Um, that's why that I that Well, because it's it's becoming a new school on a property. Right, but it's kind of they're going to supposed to build a new school there. I mean, I mean they're just using it. And you know what? We'll get more information. Okay. I'll double check. Thank you. 
details, I really suggest education. Okay. I'm not in school. I'm not in school. I'm not in school. Good, good. I just have, like I said, if you've been to the drop-off, drop-off, I say that, but, but if you've been to the other, the other schools, uh, there's a lot of riffraff that hang out at, at the school over there. The police are constantly going over there, and because you, you see the ages like from 17 to 24, so they're adults. And I just hate to see that come this way. We're gonna have all kind of people hanging out over here next to McDonald's, and you know, most of them are gang members, and you know, back and forth. With I just don't need, you know, I'm just right now, just venting right now. Well, I want to echo her suggestion. Take it to the education. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, if it becomes an issue, just because I mean, they've had always adult programs, they've always had some program going on there. So if there is a public safety issue, that would should come up. But I really think the education, I mean, I've seen it, it's very you know, small, but it's, I it isn't that big either. It's not a land use issue that we can address. No, that's true. I just wish that we would receive, the, we would receive at least a community impact statement of saying how it would benefit the community.